beautiful people my name is this talk and welcome back to another segment of corpse party um i last time i recorded or played it was a week ago because i was on a trip and so i don't remember much um what i do know is that we can actually look at some name tags which i did not look at before and so now every time we are gonna take a look see at all this so what we found so far were five bodies. We got Seisei, Academy for Girls, Koido Fujiwara, skull cracked open with a blunt instrument, age 15. That's terrifying. We got Yuzuha Mikami from the same school, rib cage smashed with a blunt instrument. So someone's out here and it makes me so nervous. Age 16, same school, Asuka Kado, Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument, age 16. These are also um, our age, if not a little younger. Same school, Sasha Shinome. Ribcage smash with a blunt instrument, my gosh. And a new school, Misato Mun Municipal Brotherhood High. Yoshiyuki Shinohara. Caught in a trap and bled out. That's awful! But, uh, oh, what is this? Oh, I thought that said AI. But yeah, I think we are still extra chapter A. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, we are with Seiko, and I forgot her name. Ayumi? No, Naomi. Oh, it's so scary. Okay. Uh, there was two rooms that we could go in, if I remember right. Is it me, or does it look a little bit more blue than it usually does? Oh, you know what? I know why. I, uh, I put, a, an effect over the thing called Moonlight. I just wanted to see what it did. So I guess we'll have a little bit of Moonlight this level. Uh, oh. Is this the new room? Is it? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. <laughs> I really think we should leave, uh, we should just leave this room. Something's not right here. What? Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can we just take a one little peek? Why? Trust the dead body! We're not looking at it. Should I look at it? Should I save? What is this? There's a candle here, but it's unlit. Well, then light it. Well, I guess we don't have anything. Yeah, we have nothing in our item list. We are leaving! I am not going to put them through anything wrong. No, I don't want to exit. No, I want to... I want to save. I want to save. Isn't there like a quick save that I can do? Ah, here we go. Type save. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, we're getting we're heading towards the infirmary. Yep. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I think Oh. I think I stepped in it. Oh. Ew, you did? Here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. <laughs> Oh, her face. Ugh. These, these are definitely somebody's guts. When I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just popped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh, oh, it's so creepy. Oh, gosh. That's way too much information. You're going to make me puke. Sorry. Oh, poor Seiko. Having to deal with that nonsense. Uh, what's this? The fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck in and lose hope, the answer may lie in your past. Relive it and search through areas you've not seen yet. You may simply be missing the one thing you desperately need to continue onward. Reality will often throw such twists at you. Whoa! Oh, it disappeared. Okay, no, I, I keep... There we go. Time save! And then this we've already explored. Okay, so that kind of tells you that there's different, I guess, endings and whatever. And that you have to do something different. Because 
from what I remember, there's like five endings a chapter, which I'm gonna try to do them. I still don't know if I should do them at the very end when I beat the game, or whenever I beat a chapter. Can I save? We will save right now. Okie dokie. Alright. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. What do they need all these for? I don't know. I'm no doctor. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. Yippee. There's an old journal on the desk. At least, it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted, and the pages can't be turned. Oh, that's weird. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both its blades covered liberally in blood. Ooh! Can we take them? Huh. Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lay down for a bit. Wait! Seiko, lay with me! <laughs> I'll tuck away in a corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. Cuddle with me, Seiko! I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Don't leave! Okay, thanks a bunch. Oh, I love Seiko. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. What was that? Oh, I thought that was the door opening or something. Is she gonna find anything? <laughs> this will do nicely. What you find? I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. <gasps> Ooh. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Can we cuddle? Whoa. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? あ、すごい楽。成功ありがとう。うん、フィルスクリート成功。Thank <笑> No worries. You're do you've done more than you you've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now. That's fair enough, I guess. I mean, I know someone who like once they hit the bed, they're out. <laughs> Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. How can you sleep in this situation? You really are an oddball. You know that. Oh, look at them! Naomi? So, hey, Naomi? Mm -hmm. If we find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? What? What is that little brooch? It's like an eyeball. It's very creepy. Eh? <laughs> well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love. Sweet love. Oh, yeah, this is so romantic. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. <laughs> Seiko's got a different mind, man. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three times, three sizes in his eyes. I bet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school, like nothing ever happened. I mean, five minutes ago you stepped in guts, <laughs> but now we're cool, I guess. 
ありがとう。考えとく。Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. <笑> yeah, around the skeletons and the ghost children. This is very romantic. I hope we find him soon. <笑> uh huh. でも一方で、彼までこんなひどい目にあってなければよかったのにって。Kinda don't though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all this. ここにいなければよかったのにって。心配してるんだよね、ナオミ。You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? I mean, that's for everyone, even like the people that you don't have a crush on. Oh, must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. What? <laughs> She may sound like.、Oh. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. Seiko's been through it, she knows. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. Okay. Why not apologize now? Oh. <laughs> what? And what was that exactly? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just when I see that booty of yours, I start to drool. Jeez, Seiko. You are so weird. Oh. Big brother. Yeah, that's Yuka. ちょっと見てくるよ。Heard it too. I'll go take a look. No, let's go together! ナオミはもう少し休んでて。No! すぐ戻るから。I don't trust it. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. 心配だから、私も行くよ。Yeah, no, that's not a good idea at all. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. <笑>大丈夫だよ。セイゴ、don't be an idiot! <笑> I insist, don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that booty parked on that bed. You got it? でも。Mm-mm, no. Come on, don't listen to her. Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing.、Mm-hmm. Ah, we're an idiot. <laughs> all right. Guess I'll stay here. No! And that's the last we see of Seiko. Seiko is now dead. The door's closed. That's a first.、Mm-hmm. My ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Uh, I don't trust that this is the first time we're seeing the door close. Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. Oh? Oh. <laughs> this is a blast from the past. Satoshi! Nanishi got me to eat it in the yard! Yeah, we've experienced this before. Where is it? Oh, she's remembering that because he touched her chest. <laughs> you're lucky you're so cute. Oh, she's fangirling. Oh. oh. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Oh. What was that? Was that us just getting out of the bed? Yeah, the door's locked. What? <laughs> no! Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? Stop! Stop! <laughs> No! <laughs> Frick! <laughs> Please! Are those. children? Uh, okay. Can we please? <gasps> Can we please? Can we please? Can we please? Can we please? Can please? please? What does it want me to do? Please, open the door. Won't budge, as if it's been completely fastened to the wall through invisible bonds. No, please! 
Jeez, what does it want me to do? Vast quantities of medicine, tonics. What about the scissors? The scissors are in here. There's a pair of scissors. Okay, no grabbing. Old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. Yep. What? What? Vast quantities of medicine. What are these for? What? Oh. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop. It's ringing in my ears. Tonight is... No! <laughs> oh, stop! Oh, it's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. Box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them. Yes! Oh my gosh! Box of matches. Kuro Niko Nohrin Ko. Best safety match. Box of loose matches found near an old-fashioned space heater. There are still quite a few left. Okay, light the candle! Please. 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 Oh, I fricked myself. Oh, it's over. What do I- what do you, what do you want me to do? Uh, I can't- I can't use- Oh, well, let me use it. What's backlog? Hold on, can I- Backlog? Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. What is it- Uh, There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Oh! Looking closely, it seems to have- Hold on, can I like- Ooh! No! Seems to have- As if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. What the frick? Wash the blood with soap. Uh, okay. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. I don't have soap! Which, uh, I need soap. I need soap. Uh, I don't have soap. Am I stuck stuck? Oh, what the frick is this? The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting in place. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Stop. Oh, no, is the journal writing? Is, is someone there? Oh, my cat's crying. Yep, my cat. Can you wait a little bit, sir? Sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Uh, can we get the scissors now? Wait, what? What did that say? The shelves are all empty. Rattle, rattle. Looking closely, the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently. What? Oh! Satchan... <gasps> oh, what is that? What? What the? <gasps> oh! Oh, stop! Stop! I need to get away. <laughs> eh, eh, oh, no! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, gosh. The black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent force. If this continues, death is inevitable. Wait! Let me move! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. 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 Fast points of medicine in a single bottle right now. What do they need all these for? Their previously inoperable dust lamp now shines with unnatural, almost ethereal glow. Scratch, 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 scribble. Haphazardly scrawled shorthand begins appearing in the journal on the desk, as if being written by unseen hands. The letters are so misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. What? What does it want me to do, then? There was scissors here! Ah. Uh... Uh, uh, oh! Oh, looking closely, each of it seems to be bleeding with actual dark red blood dripping from the paper! Uh, how to remove a tongue? What? First, you must ensure the patient's arms and legs are tied down tightly, preventing escape. Next, insert a fixed metal object into the patient's mouth to impede jaw movement and keep the mouth locked in an open position. Oh, I've had one of those in my mouth as a kid at the dentist. That is terrifying. The patient may attempt to pull back or curl its tongue to impede your progress. No need to worry, the effect of this will prove negligible. Open your scissors all the way, then close them hard around the base of the tongue, as far back as you can manage. The patient will thrash and scream, so it is recommended you apply as much pressure as possible and attempt to complete your task in one fell swoop? Stop! Oh, I'm at 6 health! 
Uh, go to bed. Go to sleep. Uh, cry. There's nothing. I don't. I don't want to activate him. So unfortunately, he's so full of ash. Uh, <laughs> hey, stop. That's so creepy. Uh, can I like not do anything? Can I use an item? Or maybe I could burn the hair. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's bring him back. Can we bring him back? Oh! Oh! No! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over. 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 The door is lattice of strands. Oh, it's no use. Where did this hair come from? God help me. Try using a match to burn the hair. Yes! I don't know! The flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Okay, maybe we need to get the alcohol. Uh, uh, okay, we need to... Okay, come on. No. Come here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, he's stupid. Uh, bottle of rubbing alcohol. Yes. Yes, come here. Come here, goober. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, come on, come on, go, 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 go. The door is uh, rubbing alcohol. Yes, douse. After hastily splashing alcohol along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match and attempt to burn th through the seemingly endless strands of hair. Yes! With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. Okay, let's go get Seiko now. Oh, it's not over? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Run, Naomi. In another panic, I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. I I was so out of sorts, I didn't even know where I was running. Oh man, I kept calling out Seiko's name over and over. You guys should have never split up! Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware of, uh, unaware of and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I regained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Uh, Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Seiko! Oh, Come on, Seiko! Don't leave me by myself in here! <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Come on, Naomi. What? Seiko? Seiko? Is that you? Dude, oh, my health is just permanently at six? What the frick is that noise? Stop it. Temp save. Ooh. What was that? No. No. Stall door is locked from the inside. No. Someone's definitely in there. What? <gasps> no! 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 No, 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 no. No, come on. You have to get up, Naomi. You have to help. Why? Why? No, it was the, and she's in the stall with the freaking demon thing. No. Oh, she's alive. Come on, you have to help her. Seiko! Seiko, you're alive? Hold on. I'll get you down. Oh, oh, no, don't touch her. Don't touch her. Uh, sorry. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her are just strangling her further. Okay, we have to get her something for her feet. Get her something for her feet. That's the goal. Fuck it. Immediately. There's a clump of identif unidentifiable bio blah, 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 meat maggots. Okay, it doesn't matter. Might be able to use this as a footstool. Uh, release the worms. Uh, 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 
This is so revolting, but if it says Seiko... <coughs> oh, man. Mm, a significant number of maggots have found their way onto Naomi's hands and skirt. How? How did that happen? Ugh, filthy bucket, let's go! An old, heavily corroded bucket full of moldy deposits and highly sated, energetic insects. Lovely. They're energetic. All right. They had some uh, prime, maybe? Oh my gosh, that's awful to look at. Seiko, he must have get a Seiko, I'm right here. Use the bucket. No. <laughs> the filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. Oh, holy cow, that's awful. That's awful. Oh. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. No. No, did I mess up? Why? It was that stupid freaking demon in that stall, man. Oh, you could try. I would. I don't know. I don't think she did. I'm smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't she say we'd find a way out of here together? No, I don't think. Mm, stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. <laughs> What? What? No, what is this? Oh, what the frick is this? Why? You're missing an eye, you're bleeding from your mouth, and you have no head. Who are you people? Child spirits? I can't move. Uh oh. Are we dead? Uh, and I can't even speak. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really, 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 really scared. What? Somehow or another, Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hand. Her mouth was agape and she would low was lowering the open scissors into it as if intending to swallow them whole. What? <laughs> Feel the scissor blades clinging against my molars, and I can hear it too. We just swallowed scissors? What? what am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? My hands are my hands moving on its own. Are we still Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> What the frick? What? Wrong end? <laughs> Shoot! Holy cow, that was awful. That was awful. So is that... Oh my gosh. That's, that's, that's... So, chapter one. Possessed by spirit, spirits severed on tongue with scissors. Oh gosh. Okay. Um... Uh, I don't even know what I could do different if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I guess I can go read the newspaper. I'm like stunned. I'm stunned. What if I hit resume? I 
I don't know. Mine's if I... If I hit resume, what will that do? Oh, oh, that was my quick save? Was that it? Was that my quick save? Hmm, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should go back to this point. I'll try to get one more... I'm gonna try to get one more ending. Um, before I make- I'll make another episode with the other two endings. Let me see if I go read that newspaper, if that will do anything different. But oh my gosh, I- that was awful. <laughs> awful. Alright, let's go read newspaper. Oh, did we ever get the name tag? Mm. You had no name tag. That's so sad. Can whoever it's unlit. Oh, I forgot to get the freaking matches. Great. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. I guess I'll just read the newspapers real quick. Time save. Read it. Heavenly Post. Freaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, or catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed. Mutilations far too grotesque to describe. Oh! The page is torn at this point, and the bottom of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this. Though, once before. <sighs> Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born. So I shouldn't be su too surprised. What? Uh uh. Oh no. Oh! 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 I don't! Oh! Oh! I'm. Oh! Oh! The door seems fixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. Great! <laughs> You gonna help me? Message has been painfully. Yeah, I looked at it. Can I look at it again? Oh, there we go. Family post. You will never leave this room. Yippee! I love this. Well, there has to be an ending to this, right? Like, should I temp save? No. Uh, I guess we'll mess with the door again. Mm, no. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? Well, there has to be something I can do. Stop it with the creepy music. I'm no longer scared. Mm. Oh, there we go. There's no way out. Oh, what do we do? What indeed? Huh? What do you mean? Hamo! What? Just never mind. What? Oh, let's read the newspaper again. Hugh Heaven will never. Oh, Steve, this room. Oh, you'll. Oh, it's like mixing itself. That's weird. Skeletal remains lie sprawled out on the floor. Close inspection reveals a school ID name tag. There we go. Shinachi. Can we look at that real quick? Um. There we go. That was the last one. Misato Mus Municipal Brotherhood High. Shinachi trapped in the classroom, starved to death. Jeez. Man. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. Panic sign. We're fine. No, no, 
ないよ Hold up. Oh no. No, it's gone. What? What is? Ayumi ちゃんからもらった紙人形の切れ端 The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, 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 I think that's what matters more. Maybe you hate all your friends. Eventually you'll kill one another. Never! I will never kill my friends! I do not know what to do in this situation. Should we like go to the stall where she's going to um, commit Alt F4 on herself? I don't know what's the... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Like it's locked, right? Going open. <sighs> Seiko! Can we just, like, not leave each other? Is there, like, a way I can, like, give you guys, like, something to, like, motivate to stay together? Man, this place is huge. I guess I'll just go to the infirmary. Yeah. I don't know what else to do. I think that's... I hope something changes. Maybe. Is different. Going to kill you. Oh, <gasps> it is different. Oh my gosh, we did something different. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is different. Are you okay? <sighs> Ew. Ah, Seiko. Oh my gosh, Seiko. Naomi, Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Seiko. Seiko. Sorry for the mess. It's not her house. Talking about, don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. <sighs> Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. That is true. Oh, you need me to rub your back? That's so nice. Thank oh. I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Yuka -chan, ita? Did you find Yuka? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two. The only two living people, anyway. Jeez. This place is just way too quiet. Aww. Naomi wa? How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? You okay to be up and about? I was resting. I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my gosh, are you alright? I think so. I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. But I need to save! Aww. It's fine. Just glad you're okay. <laughs> Guess we better keep moving then! Can you stand? Yeah. That's good. But where are we supposed to go? Aww. Well. We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this gosh forsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. No. Dang it. There I go again. Why are you still going then? It's hopeless. We're finished, and I'm so tired. We don't know that. I'm acting like a child again. Then why are you saying it? Naomi, get up! Get up! Get up! Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. I can't believe it. We're dead. Class 2-9ers never die, right? 
We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. Aww. And then in the afternoon, let's say you and I go get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? Come on, Naomi, be happy. You gotta have to be hopeful. Ugh, if we make it back alive, sure. Come on, Naomi. This is Seiko. What am I doing? What are we doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Oh, are we like halfway possessed? Naomi, Naomi, are you like super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Come on, raise that shin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Oh my gosh. Come on. What the heck's got you so chipper? She has to be! You just keep smiling and laughing. Do I? Oh my gosh. Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Naomi! Naomi, you're being a pain! Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out? That's a crock, and you know it. You're being mean. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul can bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had. Oh. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying a lot irrationally. I couldn't stop. That's so sad. Poor Seiko. I mean, I know she just. I know Naomi just went through that whole demon thing. Venomous words were flying from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was just behaving like a spoiled little brat. Great. I'm sure our families. Are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you, when you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. Oh, she's talking about her mom. You just want to do whatever, whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to. So you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. Oh my gosh, Naomi. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi, stop it! Ooh. Are you serious? Sorry, how about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. This is so stupid. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Oh. Yeah, she doesn't even understand us or recognize us. Yeah. Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad, and you, and everybody else. 
I sure as heck don't want to make don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. Aww. Most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Why would anyone say this? Like, the only reason anyone would say this is if it actually leads to the good ending. <laughs> or we're just absolutely an awful person. I'm gonna say I'm sorry. And then if I mess up, then frick it, I'll do it again later. Oh, we don't even finish it. You go, I'm... I'm so... I... Say it! <sighs> no, I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do. Then let's split up. No, I'll go this way. Well, at least she's going away from the bathrooms. <sighs> what the heck is even wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. No, come on. No. I heard her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Seiko was just a little too bright for me. So bright that it hurt. And so... In this nexus of closed spaces, where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place. <sighs> We're quickly and easily divided. Is this supposed to be the good ending? Because this sucks. <laughs> I think I want to go back and swallow some scissors. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange. Aww. Were far more dire than I could have ever imagined. Oh. Oh, Seiko! Don't cry! Oh, just go back to her! That jerk. Oh, we're alone! Go back! No, I'm going back. I don't care. Whoa! Whoa! Not another earthquake! Whoa, whoa! Is everything okay? Is it over? Are you okay No. Aww! Seiko, I'm sorry! Alright, let's go back. Naomi! I wonder if we go in the infirmary. Oh! Infirmary. Some unknown ethereal force has completely sealed the room. All attempts to enter are being blocked. Oh, can we look at her puke? I hope Naomi's okay. No, it's split! No, the force collapsed. Did this happen because of the earthquake? Naomi! <sighs> I can't take this. No! Oh, this sucks. But I've been recording for an hour and I don't want to make a super super long episode i'm glad that we got out of the bad ending though hopefully this is the right track it really does seem like that i do need to save though if i can go find a save station real quick oh seiko no keep high hopes we really might not ever make it back home again huh <laughs> this isn't a nightmare actually happening I guess before anything happens to either one of us I should tell her how I feel oh do we have a little bit <laughs> or not there's no there's really no way it would ever work out Oh, try as I might, I'd stand no chance against Mochita. Oh, so we have a crush on Naomi. Aww. Seiko, your poor heart. 
Fuck everyone I get with him. It hurts, it hurts so much. Oh. Oh. Mommy's gone. Mommy's gone. Daddy, I can't find mommy anywhere. Oh. Oh my gosh. Poor Seiko. That's how she found out her mom was missing? I don't know by myself, I think of the stupidest things. I do too, don't worry. We we all, I feel like, go through the same stuff. So maybe I should, like, re-look at stuff. Hmm. I don't know. Several sheets of crumpled paper. Alright, I, I guess, because we've seen that wall thing before, but I guess we never got Seiko's perspective of it. What? I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice. Oh, frick out! I was just trying to save! <laughs> what? I'm just trying to save! Uh, sure. Yeah, I like that. That was the first time, huh? Naomi to. The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. What is happening? <laughs> oh, we're back with her? From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I've been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. Just kept calling her name over and over again. Are we back in the bathroom scene again? Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze. Oh no, are we? Oh my gosh, we are! Seiko! Seiko! No way. Are you kidding me? Seiko. Are you serious? Because I had her follow a voice? Are you kidding me? You gotta be joking me. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is this is <laughs> this is so annoying. So because I fall I I I had her, had her follow the voice. Oh man. Oh, I didn't <laughs> I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. This is awful. Continued in chapter two. Chapter two's been unlocked. Extra one's been unlocked. What? Wait. That's the right way. Continue second chapter. Course party blood covered. There's no way. That's 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 the that's the way. Yeah. Chapter clear. Seiko hangs herself, leaving Naomi behind. No! No! I refuse! Oh, that makes me so mad! And the fact that I have to restart all that when I get back to try and get the other endings? Oh! Ooh! Okay. Well, I guess I'll leave it here. Lovely. Yippee! Yippee! Seiko dies! My favorite! Wow, that makes me so angry. Well... <sighs> It's a great game. Other than that, 
I, I will actually, I think the next episode I will get chapters, or I will get ending three and four, so we can get all of chapter one done, head to chapter two, all of chapter two done, and then we'll just kind of go like that instead of waiting till the end, and then chapter one stuff, you know? Trying to keep a good flow, trying to keep a good flow. But I am so sorry that we all had to experience that, and I'm sorry that I kind of skipped it if I missed a couple messages. It didn't look like I did, it just looked like it was going to be the same stuff again, other than the apology part. But, um... Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you dearly. Thank you for all the support of liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope you're enjoying this series. And I hope you've been enjoying what I've been making. And um, if you have any other game suggestions, leave it down below. And I will see you next time. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye!